The Last Christmas Tree. Almost exactly a month before Christmas, the trees arrived for the holiday. On the day before, the lot had been empty. Now it was full to bursting. The difference was almost like magic. There were balsam firs, spruces, and pines all lined up neatly at a slight tilt. In the middle of one row wedged between two bushier companions, one particular tree trembled with excitement. It was not very tall and, in fact, a bit hunched over, not to mention the branches that were missing here and there. Still, no tree was more filled with the spirit of the season. Surely everyone would see that at once. The little tree could hardly wait to get picked. What a moment that would be. It imagined itself covered with lights and ornaments, with presents tucked snugly underneath. The other trees didn't seem to care about who picked them out or how long it took. But the little tree kept its hopes high. It wanted someone special. Someone who was as excited about Christmas as it was. As the days passed, the trees were sold one by one. A few people made up their minds in an instant. They knew what they wanted, and that was that. Others went back and forth, and back and forth, for it seemed like hours, and sometimes was. One family pulled out the little tree for a closer look. They were laughing meanly and shaking their heads the whole time. The tree was secretly glad when they left it behind. As time went on, the remaining trees were spread out the better to show themselves off. No longer hemmed in, the little tree tried to stand up straight and puffed itself out as much as possible, but nobody seemed to notice. The lot got emptier and emptier. The few unsold trees found their prices marked down again and again and again. On Christmas Eve, the little tree looked to the left and looked to the right. It was all alone. A sign hung on it in big letters. It wasn't an ornament, not really but the tree chose to think otherwise. The night was cold and clear and the little tree got rather sleepy. Just before dawn, it thought it heard a jingling sound, but it was hard to be sure. The next thing the tree knew, it was gently picked up and placed in an empty sack. This wasn't what the tree had expected at all. Then the earth fell away. Far below, the other trees were covered in all of their finery. The little tree had no idea where it was going or how long the journey would take. But when it arrived at last, the
the little Christmas tree was finally home. Thank you for listening.